You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? Seems like your old castmates were just as surprised as the trade papers by your return to this stage. <laughs> I've got to thank you for that, Harvey. Saw the articles. Broadway star Sasha returns to independent theater for limited run. Talk about publicity. Even I wanted to believe that fairy tale you fed the press. Well, the people are buying it for now. Still a lot of work to do, you know. And a lot of reporters outside. In any case, you gotta put up a good show this time. We don't want people to start wondering why you really came back. Otherwise, we'll have a PR disaster on our hands. Don't worry. I did this show for years, remember? I didn't get this big by doing nothing. In that, I have no doubt, Sasha, my dear. It's just, when we meet that good-for-nothing who's blackmailing you, don't let him get under your skin, yeah? If money can make it all go away, then that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> There's only three people who know what really happened two years ago. Whoever's blackmailing me this time, I highly doubt they have anything legit. Probably just someone who heard the rumors and wants to make a quick buck. Hmm. Got another text. It's asking me to meet him in the storeroom. Let's go. Slim? <laughs> Surprised? Sasha, let me handle this. You keep hinting you have something, so let's see it. Well, allow me to introduce you to this rope. Let me guess. You're gonna try to hang us with that frayed piece of junk. Oh, you're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? <laughs> What do you think the police would say if they got their hands on this, huh? I don't have time for this. Just pay him. You got your cash. Give it here. And just remember, this deal never happened. You go around blabbing about this, and you'll live to regret it. Mark my words. Oh, I see. I see you're still as vengeful as you were two years ago. And no more of those texts, either. Those about drove me crazy. What texts? Oh, stop playing dumb. You sent me texts in Emily's name. Look for yourself. You'll pay with your life the next time you return to the stage. Emily. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's too hilarious. What? Are you being haunted now? Oh, shut it! Did you send this or not? As if. Look, that ain't even my phone number. Maybe it was from Emily. Ooh, scary. You're such an asshole. Sasha, Sasha, leave it. We got the evidence back. That's all that matters. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Nice seeing you. Break a leg. Or maybe something else. More bad news? No. It's... I'm down. <sighs> you want now what more bad news no it's nothing i don't think slim sent those texts he's in it for the money not to torment you then whoever it was is still out there i'm afraid so tomorrow's the anniversary of emily's death i'm starting to think you going on stage isn't a good idea at least until we figured this whole thing out i mean what if someone attacks you? I get you're concerned, but don't be, okay? I told Larry I'd do three shows, but my plan is to perform for one night only. I'm supposed to appear back on Broadway tomorrow. I signed a new agreement with the Halcyon Theater Company and everything. If I don't show up, I'll be in breach of contract. Hmm. Uh, though that's only for willful breach. What if it was force majeure? 
Say, for instance, you get injured. Then we'd have enough time to get to the bottom of those mysterious texts. Mm -hmm. Injured? Yeah, you know, a fake injury. That would do it. Oh, and say you're injured in front of the press. That'd really back it up. Hmm. You know, I think you might be onto something. Maybe pull the same old trick from two years ago. Yeah. All right. I'll need to go pay a visit to our old friend. But first, I need an excuse to play the witch. Let me think. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said same old trick. You even have any allergies? If I did have an allergy, it'd be a fake one. I'm an actress, remember? Huh. How can I forget? All right, I've got to go meet someone. Toodles. Is Jeff in there? Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. That you, Sasha? Heard you was gonna come back, but what you doing down here? Figured you'd be up on stage getting ready. I have a favor to ask. Whoa, 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 no siree. Not again, Sash. It'll be easy. Just do it the same way as you did last time. Not with Tamara being the anniversary of you know what. You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Oh, stop it. You were well paid. Though now that you mention it, what did you do with that old rope? Threw it in the trash, of course. Why? What's it to you? <gasps> the trash, of course. That must be where the person who just blackmailed me found it! What? That's impossible! <sighs> Calm down, I took care of it. Cost me a fortune, though. Cleaning up your mess. What do you say? You help me again, and we'll call it even. If someone really found it, that's just more reason for me not to do it again. Relax, will ya? No one suspected you last time. Four Eyes got all the heat. Yeah, but while everyone was suspecting Four Eyes, he was suspecting me. That quiet creep was obsessed with Emily, started poking into things after you left. Uh uh even if you were willing to pay me again, the only place I'd have to spend it is the prison commissary. <sighs> that won't happen, I promise. You wanna know why? Because you'll be dropping the house on me this time. Uh, on you? That's exactly right. Even you know I don't want to commit suicide, right? You just cut the rope. And after Four Eyes presses the button to drop the house, I'm gonna pretend it hits my feet. Your feet? What exactly are you trying to pull, Sash? That doesn't concern you. Just do what I'm asking, all right? Then we're finished. And you can pretend this never happened. Well, well all right. There, it's done. You want me to change the marks on the stage, too? <sighs> what kind of stupid question is that? I don't want to get injured for real. Leave the marks right where they are. Otherwise, that thing might actually fall on me. Understood? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna go get ready. Masha? <gasps> is that... It is you! Oh, wow. I'm one of your biggest fans. A fan? I didn't know they allowed fans backstage. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Actually, I'm your makeup artist. My name's Helen, and I have followed your career from here to Broadway. And I hear you're going to Hollywood next. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, would it be rude to ask for your autograph? When's your movie start shooting? And is it true your first on-screen role is some big bad villain? Why don't we continue this conversation while you do my makeup? Have a seat. Now, what were you asking about my new movie? Oh, there's something on my mirror. Killers will be killed, Emily. Oh my gosh, that's the same thing all those ghost texts were saying. Who was in here earlier? I've been waiting right outside this room since Larry told me I was in charge of your makeup. No one's come in or out. And Emily? Didn't Emily die? No wonder this message seems 
like it's written... written in blood! There's no way you can perform after this, Sasha! Look closer, you little fool! It's not blood, it's lipstick! Now I'm certain whoever's behind this must be here in the theater. And I'm going to catch them and make their life miserable! Wait here. I need to go look for someone. Look for someone? <laughs> you seen that manager of mine? Harvey? As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. Figured it out. Whoever's Emily is in the... What? What the fuck? Oh my god, guys! Are, are you okay? Who could have done this? Harvey, wake up! Harvey! What's going on? Why is the back door locked? Larry! Larry, something terrible's happened. What? Whoa there, Sasha. Calm down. What happened? It's Harvey and Slim and, and Chrome Dome and Leo. They... Somebody's knocked them out. I... I... I don't even know if they're still alive. What? Wow. That's impossible. I just saw them earlier at the rehearsal. They're in the storeroom. Follow me. The storeroom? That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks the straw in his costume masks the smell. Anyway, it's almost showtime. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send four eyes to check. <sighs> There's no way I'm going back on stage now. I want to get out of here, but I can't because someone locked the back door. Perhaps it is too dangerous for Sasha. Maybe I can... Oh, who, who is it? Uh, is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. He's lying. Door room. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. What should I do, Larry? I can't just leave. He might be waiting outside. I'm thinking what you can I do, use Larry? the side door on the stage. You can play the witch in the first scene. Then, when the smoke appears, you can use it as cover and leave from the side. And as for Dorothy, Ashley can play her, can't you? Uh, all right. If you're sure. Of course. Quick, let's switch our costumes. Give us a hand, Helen. Would you? Right, I'm on it. Hurry! The role of the witch is simple. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. We're all set, then. You know the lines, right, Ashley? Oh, don't worry. I've played Dorothy before. All right. We're on, Four Eyes. Raise the curtains. And music, stop. Do any of you know what magic really entails? Is it hope? Miracles? Ha! More like a fool's hope. In Oz, magic means strength. Magic means power. And I, Eleonora, the Witch of the East, possess that power. You shall all bow before me. There shall be no there shall be no the miracles. house on my mark. No. Ah! What? What? She's dead. It, it killed her. Then those texts were real. What happened? Tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death. Have you gotten any messages from her? You mean those ghost texts? You guys got them too? We sure did. A few days ago, I got a text saying, Killers will be killed. And guess what? Sasha came back today. I figure Emily wants us to avenge her. What the hell? Don't tell me you're taking that text seriously. You two are one can short of a six-pack. Oh, whatever. Go on with your revenge fantasy then. But leave me out of it. No can do. We need your help. 
You need to cut the rope so the house lands on Sasha. You know, kill her the same way she killed Emily. Name your price. You two are crazy. I ain't no murderer, and I can't be bought either. Not a murderer, huh? Then tell us! Who cut the rope back then and killed Jesus, Emily? Jesus, calm down! What the hell's gotten into you, huh? It was an accident. Even the police said so. An accident? Or maybe you were smart enough to cover your tracks. You think I'm some sort of master assassin? I just work the boards and the flies. This is what we're willing to pay you. More than generous, don't you agree? Just tell us, are you in or out? Don't wave that cash in my face. It would take more than money to get me in your plan. Say I agree. I cut the rope and down comes the house on the wrong actress. Or did you forget Ashley is playing the witch tonight? So now you gotta get her and Sasha to switch roles and good luck convincing hottie Miss Hollywood to do that. Are you starting to understand? One dirty deed won't do the trick. There was a lot going on that night. Emily's throat closing up on account of a bad cup of joe. The rope that the forensic examiner said was too old. And then Emily walking onto the exact spot where the house was gonna fall. And she walked there on her own. That's why her death's still a mystery today. The rope might be a link, but you boys are missing the rest of the chain. <laughs> you think I care about any of that? All I want is Sasha dead. She murdered Emily. So, can you kill her or not, huh? If you make it happen, the money's yours. You ain't even listening to me. I'd quit while you're ahead, boys. No way you can pull off something like that. Especially not without an inkling of a plan. If I help you, I might as well turn myself in right now! So stop wasting my time. Out! Out! <laughs> <laughs> What do we do now? Without Jeff, we can't... Mm, I was hoping he'd cave and help us. Would have been easier that way. Though he was right that getting rid of Sasha ain't gonna be a walk in the park. Still, she's gotta pay for what she did to Emily. Time to call in the big guns. That text we got, killers will be killed, you sure that's Emily telling us to avenge her? Who else would it be? The killer's part is telling us she was murdered, so it wasn't some kind of accident. The will-be-killed part's telling us to kill that bitch who killed her. Guess that makes sense. But what about Slim? You think he got those same texts? Slim? When he ain't dancing around in his scarecrow getup, he doesn't give a shit about anything. Unless it's good for him. Yeah, but what about Larry and everyone else? Turn off your brain and grow a spine. Tomorrow will be the day Emily died. It's up to us to see justice served today. No need for name calling. I'm just not sure about those big guns you mentioned is all. Those guys you wanted to hire? They're kind of scary. Don't worry. I'll handle everything. Paul? It's a go. Once you come in, I'm in the first room on the left. That's all taken care of. They'll be here any minute. I, uh, gotta take a leak. Now? For God's sake, you can't piss now! <laughs> Sure, this will be traced back to us. Uh, you're sure none of this will be traced back to us? Those two are pros. You've got nothing to worry about. Come on in. Here's the down payment, Paul. 
Your target's Sasha. I'll take the money, but this guy is Paul. The target's Sasha. She'll be found dead on stage tonight. Time of death will be 8.15 p.m. Unless the original plan changes, you don't have to repeat it. Uh, no changes. No, no changes. In our disguises. Are they ready? Two costumes. The Cowardly Lion and the Tin Man. Put them on, and you'll be able to walk around backstage. <laughs> no one will suspect a thing. Mm-hmm. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Just remember not to talk to anyone. Jesus, that sounded just like Leo. We're pros. We can act better than you when we have to. Just one more thing. Us two, we're not gonna become suspects, right? Good thinking. So, what's your alibi? Alibi? The police are gonna ask about your whereabouts later. What are you gonna say, huh, Leo? What? I, uh, I don't know? Yeah. Happens every time. Our alibi? Mm, how about... We were on stage. Ugh. In these costumes you just gave us? Uh, right. Uh, we could... Report them stolen. <sighs> Tell you what. We'll provide you guys with an alibi. Free of charge. Oh. Ah, watch it. Ah. And they're out. Nighty night, boys. <laughs> Amateurs, all of them. Have no idea what they're getting into. Well, the customer is always right. We only did this to make sure we get the rest of our payment. Anyway, let's drag them to the storeroom and tie them up. When the police arrive, they'll just add them to the pile of victims. No harm, no foul. I'll carry him. You make sure the hallway's clear. Got it. All clear. Let's go. Who is it? Huh? Huh. Wrong dome. Leo. Hey, guys. Uh -huh. The show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, who are you carting along, huh? Wait. Chrome dome. Leo. What the hell is going on here? Nice stash of cash you got there, huh? Do I get a piece of it too? I, um, no. Clean up the mess. Take a look at all this cash. Forget about Dorothy and her little dog. Oh, don't worry. We'll take the money. But we're not leaving here while that actress is still alive. We've got a reputation to keep up. Sounds good. Let's go find our target. And close the door. Got it. Sasha isn't here. Of course she isn't. Huh? What's this on the mirror? Killers will be killed. Emily. Someone beat us to it? Hmm. It's just a threat. Sasha's still alive. Maybe, but things are getting a lot more convoluted than we thought. Still stick to the plan? For now, yes. But be careful. Got it. Is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. Yeesh, so many people. We do it anyway? No, too messy. She only has one exit with the back door locked. 
We just need to make sure she doesn't leave. So, where can we keep an eye on the entire stage? Let me check the schematic. Uh-huh. I'd say the master control room should work. Then let's go. Right there. Didn't I tell you two to get lost? What are you doing back here? And in costume to boot? We got something to show you is all. Yeah? Why all the mystery? <laughs> Another sorry ass taken care of. I'll keep an eye on Dorothy from here. You tie him up and lock the door. Got it. There. That's her. On stage. didn't do squat. Someone must have beaten us to the punch. Things are getting out of control. We need to pull out. Roger that. Sasha will be joining tonight's performance, which means there's gonna be a lot of press. Hmm. So, since we've got some time, why don't we rehearse the opening scene one more time? Locking's crucial here. We've got this. Don't worry. Sasha's playing Dorothy today, which means, Ashley, you'll be playing the supporting roles. Really? I knew this would happen. Well, whatever. All right. Four Eyes, you play Dorothy for now. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. Okay, which stand on the mark? Yes, much better. Which start walking? Tech, are you ready? Okay, press the button, four eyes. Make sure the house lands right in front of the witch. Okay, the witch screams. Now, she's dead. Release the dry ice and the witch leave the stage from the back. Dorothy, you're on. Walk to the center of the stage. Good job, guys. Great job. Looking good. Send the house back up, Four Eyes. And while you're at it, check that rope, will you? Will do. What is it? You've been working in this theater for quite some time, yeah? So you knew Emily, the actress who played Dorothy before Sasha? You wouldn't happen to know if... Sasha had anything to do with her death, would you? So then, you heard the rumors too. Sasha took Emily's place right after she died, and just like that, her career took off. I mean, it's hard not to suspect her. Uh, you can believe what you want, but there's no evidence. There's no use in going around pointing fingers. I guess I just don't get it. I mean, how did the house suddenly just fall on her? Who was holding the remote when it happened? I, uh, I was. Oh? Don't tell me that you might have. Of course not. And it's not like I wasn't a suspect as well. But there's no way I could have done it. The remote only controls the hook on the rope. If the rope breaks, well, no remote control or hook can stop that. The rope broke before I even pressed the button. That was confirmed by the police, too. Oh, I see. Still quite the interesting coincidence, though. Yeah, yeah, think whatever you want, but watch it. If Sasha finds out you've been snooping around, she'll make your life miserable. Uh, noted. Anyway, I'll get out of your hair.
our dear director, for Any orders from our dear director, Four Eyes? Just wants you to double check all the props. Why, Larry doesn't think I can do my job? Or maybe you don't. Neither of us think that. We both trust you. Is Jeff in there? Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. That One there. Jeff? Sasha? You're looking a bit under the weather. Everything all right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Who is that? Old friend of mine. Never mind that. How are the actors? They ready? Emily's texts have been making everyone nervous, especially with Sasha back. But overall, things seem okay. Mm. All right. Do me a favor and ask the others to wait a little longer. I need to check the blocking marks one last time. As soon as that's done, we'll get started. Will do. Me, Larry, wasn't it Emily that always played the leading roles? I mean, back before she died? What was she doing playing the witch? Um, you know, that day. Well, we're a small theater company, but we were even smaller back then. We only had two female actresses, so Emily would play the leading roles, which in this case was Dorothy, and Sasha had to cover all the other female roles. That day, though, Emily had an allergic reaction accidentally had a sip of some hazelnut coffee and damn near threw her voice out. Can't really sing somewhere over the rainbow with a bum throat. So she and Sasha switched for the night. Wow. One accident after another, seems like. <laughs> what are the odds? Makes you wonder who got her coffee that day, doesn't it? That, I don't know. Either Sasha has the best luck in the world, or Emily had the worst. <laughs> Ashley! Sasha might be your... Oh! Larry! Helen? Oh, I'd better get on stage. Have you, uh, taken care of it? The, uh, new alterations? I sewed on the applique, but they didn't work like we hoped. Larry! Something terrible's happened! What? Oh, there, Sasha. Calm down. What happened? It's Harvey and Slim and, and Chrome Dome and Leo. They... Somebody's knocked them out. I... I... I don't even know if they're still alive. What? Or room. 
That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks the straw in his costume masks the smell. Anyway, it's almost showtime. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send Four Eyes to check. <sighs> There's no way I'm going back on stage now. I want to get out of here, but I can't because someone locked the back door. Perhaps it is too dangerous for Sasha. Maybe I can... Oh, who, who is it? Uh, is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. Just need to talk to Sasha for a sec. He's lying. I just saw Leo unconscious in the storeroom. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. What should I do, Larry? I can't just leave. He might be waiting outside. I'm thinking what you can I do, use Larry? the side door on the stage. You can play the witch in the first scene. Then, when the smoke appears, you can use it as cover and leave from the side. And as for Dorothy, Ashley can play her, can't you? Uh, all right. If you're sure. Of course. Quick, let's switch our costumes. Give us a hand, Helen, would you? Right, I'm on it. Hurry! The role of the witch is simple. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. We're all set, then. You know the lines, right, Ashley? Oh, don't worry. I've played Dorothy before. All right. We're on, Four Eyes. Raise the curtains. Come on in. Slim? <laughs> Surprised? Sasha, let me handle this. You keep hinting you have something, so let's see it. Well, allow me to introduce you to this rope. <laughs> let me guess. You're gonna try to hang us with that frayed piece of junk. Oh, you're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? <laughs> What do you think the police would say if they got their hands on this, huh? I don't have time for this. Just pay him. You got your cash. Give it here. And just remember, this deal never happened. You go around blabbing about this, and you'll live to regret it. Mark my words. Oh, I see. I see you're still as vengeful as you were two years ago. And no more of those texts, either. Those about drove me crazy. What texts? Oh, stop playing dumb. You sent me texts in Emily's name. Look for yourself. You'll pay with your life the next time you return to the stage. Emily. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's too hilarious. What? Are you being haunted now? Oh, shut it! Did you send this or not? As if. Look, that ain't even my phone number. Maybe it was from Emily. Ooh, scary. You're such an asshole. Sasha, Sasha, leave it. We got the evidence back. That's all that matters. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Nice seeing you. Break a leg. Or maybe something else. Shaking pretty bad, Leo. You all right? Me? I, uh, oh, I'm, I'm fine. Just, you know, tomorrow's the anniversary and all, you know? Uh, speaking of, you haven't gotten any texts from Emily, have you? Oh, 
please. You guys actually believe that superstitious horse shit? I'd expect that from the others, but really? You two? Me? <laughs> uh, of course not. Just asking. I mean, makes me wonder is all. I mean, what if they are real? What if that really is Emily asking us to avenge her? <laughs> like I care. I didn't exist as far as Emily was concerned. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Didn't even have her number. So even if she was sending me these so-called texts, they'd all be filtered as spam. But besides that, revenge? Come on. You guys spend too much time in the theater. Oh, gotta head out. Catch you later. There, huh? Now where's my cut? <laughs> We were pretty convincing back there, huh? Now where's my cut? <sighs> there you go. Gotta hand it to you, man. Must have been tough getting Miss Big Star back here. Ah, uh, don't flatter me. But what was that text about, huh? You don't trust me? Had to hear Sasha in my conversation for yourself. So you make me call you behind her back. That's a good way of getting caught. Also, that's a bit paranoid, even for you. But whatever. She agreed to the fake injury thing, so we'll be fine. Wait, what? Text? Call? I didn't know such thing. This whole thing too much for you, big guy? Rattling a few brain cells, huh? You sent me a text telling me to call you, you ignoramus. Look, right here. Call me. Don't let Sasha know. Gotta hear what she wants to do next, huh? What the hell? Let me see that. And see? The text before that, telling me to get her to fake an injury. And before that, telling me to convince her to come back to the theater. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why would I care about any of that? I'm only in this for the money. Doesn't matter to me if she's injured or not. Or even if she performs tonight. Besides, this ain't even my phone number. Wait. If these aren't from you, then who the hell are they from? Wait a minute. Hold it. I remember this number. Y it ain't yours. All the texts I've been getting were from this number, too. What? Let me see your phone. Here. See for yourself. And check out all those texts you sent me. Well, I'll be damned. Then whoever this person is, they've been contacting both of us. God damn it. Let me check something. Uh, that old contact book should still be in this room somewhere. E, E, Emily, Emily. There she is. 917-633. Fuck me. That's Emily's number. God damn. Then, then all this was Emily's idea? And the rope I got? And our meeting today? Well, this is starting to creep me out. Wait. You don't really think it's Emily's ghost, do you? Nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm calling this number. Let's see who answers. Huh? Who is it? Huh? Huh. Wrong down. Hey, uh -huh. guys. The show's about to start. What are you still doing here? I could ask the same of you two. Hey, uh, who are you carting along, huh? Wait. Chrome down. Leo. The hell is going on here? Nice stash of cash you got there, huh? Do I get a piece of it too? I. Store. All clear. Let's go. Everything all right there? Huh? You again? 
What? Something else to double check? Nah, I think I left my phone here. Your phone? Everything all right there? You ain't normally one to go for what? Maybe. That's when it gets old, huh? Well, it. until you break your leg on something. All right, all right. Duly noted, Mr. Fun Killer. One quick question, though, just because I'm curious. This rope, what happens when it gets old, huh? Will it break? Break? Did someone tell you to come asking me questions? Heavens to Murgatroyd, it was just a question. Whatever. Have fun. Huh. Brilliant idea. Wow, what's got you all in a tizzy, girl? The idea of a lifetime. This is gonna be a golden opportunity for me. But I need your help. I'm listening. I was just talking to Larry, and he reminded me of something. If there's gonna be as much press here as he says, I need to play Dorothy. Even just once. It's guaranteed to get my name out there. Sure it would. But there's no way in hell Sasha will agree to that. Well, sure, not willingly, but what if something were to, you know, happen? And she wouldn't be able to play Dorothy. And just what are you thinking, huh? You pull something like that, and Sasha will eat you alive. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt her or anything. Just who do you think I am? I'm thinking something more along the lines of those ghost texts from Emily. You mean that actress who died on stage, right? A couple different people have said they've gotten texts from her now. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Yeah, and rumors say it was Sasha who had Emily killed, which is how Sasha became the leading actress. I was just talking to Four Eyes about that. He said there was no proof and that I shouldn't fan the flames, so to speak. I don't need any proof. All I'm thinking is, what if I use the whole ghost texting thing to scare Sasha a little? Make it so she doesn't want to play Dorothy anymore. Then I'll get my chance. That's actually not a half bad plan. From what I heard, everyone here liked Emily a lot. Wouldn't surprise me if Sasha feels like target numero uno right now. They did seem to be pretty choked up anytime someone mentioned her name. If they really think she was murdered, I wouldn't doubt they'd be out for blood. All right. All right, all right. I'll play along. But what is it you need me to do exactly? I'm not going to hurt anyone. Just letting you know that right now. What do you take me for, huh? Nah. All I need you to do is give her dressing room a little makeover before she goes in. To scare her a little. You know? I can try. Mm, you're the best! Yeah, yeah. You can thank me later.
It is you! Oh, wow. I'm one of your biggest fans. A fan? the director to commit the murder. Congratulations, detective. You've passed the test. Unfortunately, there's no time to celebrate. The real work is about to begin.